Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists social media influencers with management contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about how much does an influencer manager charge? So what is the commission percentage that a manager uh, will take from any of the compensation received by an influencer? Uh, first, let's talk about the distinction between an agent and a manager. So an agent normally is thought of in kind of the actor realm, and there are specific laws that dictate how much an agent can charge an actor, and they have to be a member of a licensed agency, and there are some specific rules that dictate what they can and can't do. Uh, the influencer market is, at this point, pretty much unregulated. So uh, I find that, you know, actors have kind of dual roles of an agent uh, and a manager who do separate things for them. Whereas I find most influencers think of an agent and manager as kind of the same thing. And that would be somebody who facilitates business opportunities for the influencer and then assists in negotiating the price, dealing with the contract. I think most influencers think of that uh, in the same capacity simply because they're not there's no need to have both uh, as an influencer. I mean, I guess uh, an influencer who's just, <laughs> you know, the, you know, one of the biggest influencers could have a manager who, who kind of generally handles the day-to-day -day issues for uh, talent, uh, whereas the agent generally handles kind of the, you know, the nuts and bolts business stuff. Um, but for most influencers, that's unnecessary. One one person can do the job, and so it can be known as both an agent. Or a manager. All right. So as far as a percentage goes, uh, as I said before, uh, agents, um, you know, for actors in California are capped at ten percent, whereas uh, the influencer market is essentially unregulated at this point. So I find most management agencies uh, or managers uh, charge around twenty percent, uh, you know, commission. It can be less, can be a little bit more, but. Somewhere between 10 to 20 percent is is a standard amount. Now that that certainly is negotiable. Um, it, it really is probably based upon the experience of the manager, uh, the client base they have, the you know proven track record. If you have uh, you know a manager who doesn't have much experience, you should you simply shouldn't pay them as much at least initially until they prove themselves. Um, so. How, how the compensation would work is the, um, you know, influencer is designated as an independent contractor and then uh, the sponsor will pay. Usually the, the payment will go through the agency or manager. The manager will take their cut and then the rest of that will go into whatever designated bank account that the uh, influencer has wanted the money to go into. And then... Uh, one consideration is after the contract terminates, there's almost always going to be a clause in there that states the manager will continue to receive a percentage of any deal that they brought to the influencer even after the contract terminates. So let's just give an example. So let's say uh, it's a fitness influencer. They have um, a sponsorship with an apparel company. The manager negotiated the deal you know, got 20% from whatever it was, the influencer, for whatever reason, terminates the contract with the manager. Well, the, that clause will then state for normally a year after the contract ends, the influencer still has to pay 20% if they decide to stay with that apparel company back to the manager. Uh, the, the reason why managers do this is what they don't want to do is uh, get a deal bring it to the influencer, maybe it's an awesome opportunity, the influencer terminates the agreement, still takes the deal, and then avoids having to pay the manager any commission. Now, uh, everything's negotiable, so you can certainly try to negotiate reducing the amount of time you have to pay the manager after the contract terminates, or maybe um, reducing the percentage, maybe by quarter. So if you go 20% in Q1, 15, 10, 5, something like that. Um, but it's very rare that you're going to get a management contract that doesn't have some kind of language uh, like that. I mean, uh, honestly, it's obviously a reasonable uh, request by a manager. Um, it just it would be unfair if they would 
bring a deal to someone and then have that person avoid having to pay them anything. Uh, another thing to think about <clears throat> is uh, if the uh, manager has an exclusive relationship with the talent. So normally any kind of management contract is going to be exclusive, which means the influencer cannot use anyone else to you know, kind of facilitate slash negotiate any of the sponsorship opportunities. Meaning even if a friend, uh, another influencer, if they were reached out to directly by a sponsor, uh, anything that comes to the influencer has to go back to the manager and then the manager would be the one who negotiates the deal and, and would get the percentage. Once again, a manager doesn't want um, you know, an influencer from getting around having to pay them uh, by having stuff funneled through either a friend or you know, contacting the places directly. I mean, the role of the manager is to one, find opportunities that the influencer couldn't do for themselves, but then two, negotiate the price and hopefully uh, they're going to bring in 20% more uh, you know, than they're taking. So in the long run, it's a, it's a win-win for both uh, parties. So that's how much uh, most influencer managers make. Uh, if you have any questions about your management contract, feel free to call my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description. Uh, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. And uh, if you thought this video is helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel as we release videos every single day. All right, appreciate it. Thanks.